it's Laura with Following the Paper Trail, and I have the finished mini made from my eclectic um, Valentine kit. Finally got it done. At least I got it done before Valentine's Day. Um, and I do still have a couple of these kits available, so if you like this, um, uh, you can go to my Etsy store at uh, followthepapertrail.etsy.com and check it out. So anyway, it's kind of a box. It's kind of a mini album. It's kind of both. So, um, let me show you a little bit, see how it's a box. In fact, on this one, now these aren't in the kit, these little knobs, because this is an idea I had later, but it's got little feet knobs on it. I wish Tim Holtz knew, um, little feet thingies that he's got coming out were available, but they're not available yet. So, but it can just sit there, uh, on a table and it's got those little feet. So it's almost like a little, it's like a little table album. Ha ha ha. So anyway, um, it's got um, a little frame that I showed in a previous video. Um, I think it was uh, Eclectic Valentine Edition or something like that it's called. But I showed you how this was actually a pink resin little frame. And then I painted it with Tim Holtz Picket Fence Crackle Paint. And then I've touched it up with a little bit of... Um, Distress ink and some uh, Rangers da daubers in the gold to touch it up. Um, I also have these little flowers that are like a Fimo flower that I found that I've put around the frame. It's got a um, Tattered Angels, one of their um, framed fonts, butterflies, and then some uh, a flower that you can see there. I've added some stickles um, to them as well as a little piece of bling. Over here on the side, it's got the little ribbons um, that are the binding for the pages that are inside. Put a bunch of my fibers. I've got a key. The key's not in the kit, but um, I added that. And then it's got a fragment with a little piece of bling on it. So anyway, then over here, just to close it, um, I've, th and this is, is the, one of these is in the kit, it's got a, uh, kind of a plastic crystal thing, and I hung it off of one of those little heart shape um, paper clips. Now on the box, I'll show you at the end how I made the box. What I did here is I just took um, some of the paper and I used a border punch, and then it just wraps around the edges of the box. But anyway, how this opens up then is grab onto this it opens up and then inside here I have a square doily that's folded like an envelope it's got a little magnetic closure on it so it opens up there's a couple of tags a little bit fragile so you gotta be gentle with it. it's got a couple of kind of photo mat tags I left them open under these little punched hearts so that you could put um, photos in there so those just slip in that little envelope like so and I put a magnetic closure on there I didn't include that in the kit but excuse me you could put um, any kind of closure then on these pages these are actually folded paper pages let me grab the page real quick I meant to have that over here where I film this is just a um, six by five and a half piece of paper and then I scored it at an inch and a half and I folded it on these pages then I actually stitched it I stitched it up the center and then I took two of these back to back so that the folds were on the outside and I stitched them up each side so it made a pocket in between them as well as two pockets right here um, so here I've got some tags and out of I cut out of one of the papers had this really pretty rose on it whoops not in camera. I cut it out and added some stickles to it. So I thought that made really pretty um, on that little piece. So here I've taken two tags that I sprayed with uh, several lavender-ish shades of Tattered Angels. And there I had a heart doily that I cut in half and put it onto the two tags. Distressed it and Tattered angel it. I love that iridescent gold. That's what I used on the doilies. You can do some stuff on the back. So it's got some foo-foo up at the top, but those just fit down inside the little pocket there. And then in between the two pages, as you can see, I've got then some tags in between. And these are just like photo mat type of tags, and I did them all with a little heart pull tab. Then you flip over onto this side, again in that center in between the two pages. It's got that pocket. And then I just went through and made tags underneath the tags 
is, you know, is the pattern paper you could have photos or journaling there. So those just slip into that tiny little pocket. Here I've added some lace that this was white lace that I glimmer misted it um, in a violet color and then added some stickles to give it even more sparkle so it's like super sparkly. Here's the tags. I used some um, just tickets and added that to those in between. Now here's another one of the, the larger tags that fit in between those two pages. Then we go to this side. Here I've taken some red velvet wired ribbon and attached it to the, so it's coming up down here at this end, um, to that little fold up place. Here I had a little charm that I had, that I'd made that went in the kits and I added that um, with a um, paper clip. And here's a little leftover piece of lace that I had sprayed for the next page. Uh, that I added to that tag. On this side, this was again a cream colored lace that I sprayed in uh, various shades of pink. That's what I love about the, the um, Tattered Angels um, Glimmer Mist is it works well on fabric and lace in that to give it any color that you want. So you don't have to find it in colors. You can buy it in cream or white and then to spray it. Here I have some little organza ribbon roses and then some fufu up here. And in between these pages, I had gotten a thank you card from somebody about one of my kits, and she had the prettiest card that she sent with it. Um, and I just distressed it. I cut off the, the sentiment part and kept that, but this is the cover that I then distressed, and I just attached it up at the top so that I could have a photo or something underneath it. But this was so pretty, I couldn't resist using it. Then on this side is another place for another photo. So again, that just slips into that. It's open at the bottom, but it's where the binding rings are, so it doesn't really much matter. So then on this back side, got um, some cute paper that when I cut it, I was careful with how I cut it, so then it, it kind of gave me some kind of Valentine's. It's on craft paper, so I can then journal our photo on the back. Little flower. Same with this one. Here what I did is I took a bonnet and I put it uh, put it onto a paper clip with a brad. See, I just wrapped those little brads. Whoops, I'm too close. <laughs> wrapped the brads around the paper clip and then added a, a charm so it dangles off of that. And then on this back side, it's got three matching tags that all slip underneath um, a glimmer misted doily with some flowers on it. Here's here's the paper that had the chocolate inside. So at the bottom of the box, I thought it was cute to have that. And so these are three matching tags with flowers. And these were some strung pearls, you know, the, that you buy all strung together. And I just cut them apart and put three in each of the tags. I thought that made it kind of a cute, cute effect. So let me really quick show you where my effort time. I got about a minute. I can show you how to actually make the box. It's made with three pieces of six by six chipboard. You've got one for the cover, one for the bottom, and the other four is the third piece is cut into four inch and a half by six sheets. You're then also gonna cut five pieces of, of just a solid color um, uh, cardstock that they are an inch and a half by six inches. You're gonna score and fold them in half. These are then placed down at the five joints. What's gonna happen then here is at the front, they'll fold up. You're gonna punch holes like I did here, punch holes and put ribbon to hold the box up at the front. You're gonna punch two holes side by side here, like so here and here. And that's how you're gonna bind your pages into your book. So this will stay up like this as a book, whereas this opens up flat closes over the top. You could have something, for instance, like I did here, this thing dangling over the side gives it some weight to stay closed. You could also have something that flips over and either hooks down by magnet or something along that line. But as you can see, this opens up and here is where my pages are hooked in to this back inch and a half piece. The other three inch and a half makes a side. So it's a, it's a book, it's a box, it's um, a funny, eclectic valentine. So if you're interested in the kit for this, you can still find a few of them on my Etsy store at followthepapertrail.etsy.com. And I'll also have stills of this on my blog at followingthepapertrail.blogspot.com. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks a bunch.